Good day, everyone. Paul Lawrence Fan here. Glad that you could be with me for another session of Leadership as Influence. And of course, leadership is one of my strengths, one that I have cultivated over the years. Uh, the goal for this particular episode and for my YouTube channel, which is Leadership is Influence, is to help you to become a better leader, help you to become a leader of influence, because once you become a leader of influence, then what you're doing is maximizing the human capacity and human potential of the employees, and you're also going to improve your bottom line. In essence, it's going to become a competitive advantage for you uh, with co the competition in your industry. And that's really where you want to be. So let's get started. And what I'm going to talk about today is uh, the importance of leadership. In fact, I've, I'm currently writing a book, which is titled, of all things, Leadership is Influence. <laughs> and uh, as a part of this particular process, uh, what I talk about is why is it important to become a leader and a leader of influence. And the primary reason is because it just gives you more to work with. It provides you with more abilities. You acquire more knowledge, more skills, more abilities, and you're able to add to the organization like nothing else, no other category that there is. And the primary reason is because that's how companies operate. Companies operate based on leadership and their overall objective is to enhance their business performance. And that's really what this is all about. I'm going to share my book cover with you uh, just briefly, and then uh, we'll get back into it. But I just want to kind of show you uh, what I've been working on and I'm almost at completion. So this is what it looks like. Uh, leadership is influence and uh, the three-pronged approach to becoming a leader of influence. And uh, with this book, what I want to achieve is to provide you with additional information in regards to how you can become the best leader that you can possibly be. And it's very important to me that this takes place because in this current workforce, you really need to have some advantages and leadership happens to be one. And so if you just state that, oh, well, you know, I'm not in a leadership position. Uh, yes, you are. <laughs> and I've shared this on many other and previous episodes, because even as an employee, you are in a leadership position and you are in that position because you are the one who is producing the goods and the services. And if you don't do your work, then the manager and the supervisor uh, is not doing their job. And the leader with the title, who is the president, CEO, executive director, whoever it happens to be, the person with the official title of leader, uh, they cannot perform their jobs because it's all a part of the team work that's there. So if you say to yourself, well, I don't have that title, but you do. And if you learn how to work with it and navigate it, you will become the next supervisor manager or you could become the next CEO or the person with the official title of leader. But you are paid to be a leader because people do not have people that can enhance their productivity, can increase their sales, can, can't get marketing that makes a difference uh, in getting products sold and, and providing that visibility for it. So you are a leader. And then when we look at our supervisors and managers, they are really the, the middle person, if you will. And as, because they are, they are taking direction from the leader with the title and they are providing the workflow uh, to the employee leader. So all of you leaders that are out there, that's a um, three-legged stool, as I always talk about, you are all leaders. It's just that what happens in industry and in business, people, they have the designation, well, if he's a leader, then he's the smartest one. And that's not always the case because a, a, a real leader, a strong leader would hire other people. In other words, they don't want to be the smartest person in the room, if you will, but they want to be the person who directs and, and takes advice from the smart people in the room. And then they 
provide their vision and their mission and objectives to the organization as a whole. So you don't have to be the smartest person in the room to be the leader with the title. But in the manager, it's incumbent in upon you to ensure that the workflow does, in fact, uh, get people moving to the direction that the leader wants to, to get into. And that's all with the difference. So I'm going to talk about my book just a little bit. Again, I'll put this uh, cover here. It should be coming out soon. I'm currently working uh, to get it, get it uh, published. So I'm coming into the final throes of it, which means that I have just a couple of more chapters to finish off, but I've already had the book cover here and uh, this is what it looks like. So uh, I came up with the concept for it and I, I hired a really great uh, expert, cover expert uh, to put this together for me. Uh, but uh, not only is the cover is really nice, but the content inside is even better. But this is what it's going to be looking like, and I'll be sharing a little bit more about it. So I want to go through the process of how this book all came about. Uh, I was in a speaker training program, and it actually it was an executive level speaker program. And one of the experts in there, one of the top speakers for the organizations also trains people such as myself, entrepreneurs. And I... At the last class, he discussed the different assets he had. He had things such as a workbook that goes along with his speech. And so one of my speech titles is Leadership is Influence. And uh, I thought, start thinking about it. And I said, you know, uh, I can build my brand around this because this is what I do. So first of all, I had my speech. And so I came out with my speech. And then from my speech, I decided, well, I'll design a course, a digital course. So I designed a digital course, how to become a leader of influence. And then I just decided, well, I'll put together a YouTube channel. And here we are, leadership is influence. And then here comes the book. So I have a different assets that I provide. I also provide uh, leadership speaking, which I mentioned before, and all of it is interrelated. And so Different things are in the book as it differs from what's in the speech. It differs from what's in the digital course, but it's all interrelated. And so there is some consistency uh, that takes place, but I do provide a three-pronged approach to becoming a leader of influence. And so how did I write this book? Well, I've written several books before. So with this book, I use just a rapid writing uh, process that I discovered through a previous training. And so... Uh, primarily what happened is I, I just decided, hey, I'm going to write this book and I'm going to do it as fast as I possibly can. Excuse me for a minute while I remove that. And, and so I just came up with uh, this, this concept and this idea. And from that, I came out with about 10 chapters. And for each chapter, I provided uh, content uh, that leads up to one becoming a better leader and a leader of influence. And so as a result, uh, what I ended up doing is I just wrote the book. I, I put my head down, which I do, and I just started writing. In other words, I was just focused on the writing. And that's what I've been doing probably for the last month. And uh, mostly going through the editing process. And now I'm going to hire a company uh, to come in just as I hired someone to do the book cover. Uh, I hired someone also uh, to uh, get the the formatting down pat because that's one of the most important things. So I have an ebook and I have a paperback and I may eventually evolve to a hardcover. And I'm also going to have an audio book coming out as well. So I have uh, different things that I'm working on uh, to help people to become better leaders and leaders of influence. But the writing process in and of itself um, is pretty, excuse me, it's pretty intense. Uh, but uh, that's what it takes. But the main thing is, uh, the, when I talk about the importance of being a, a good leader, it is the one asset that you can take to any company that you decide to go to. Someone comes and recruits you to work for them, then you have this leadership ability. And most of the time when they recruit you, it's because you do have uh, leadership as one of your strengths, just as I do. And uh, so again, being a leader 
it shows that you're a team player, that you're willing to, to work with your managers, you're willing to work with the leader with the title. And ultimately, over time, you will likely either head up a, a corporation over time or you'll have your own. You become an entrepreneur, just like I am an entrepreneur. And it's, it's very important to have these leadership skills. And it's really tough to lead a company if you don't have some leadership skills, I can tell you that. And, and so, you know, again, I have a digital course, which I'll share uh, in a future uh, episode. And then I have the book and I have speeches that I deliver. And of course, you know, I also deliver leadership development uh, workshops. And I, I conduct those at breakout sessions, at conferences, at conventions. I also work directly with uh, corporate uh, Fortune 500 companies, small businesses, associations, and and, and also at uh, colleges and universities as well. But it's very important that we all have uh, the best leadership skills we can because when you have leadership, you're taking a very broad perspective. You're looking at the big picture. You're looking at the vision, the mission and objective of an organization and of a company. And you're projecting that out to clients and prospective clients. And, and that's another reason why, why it's very important to have the skill sets and it should not be anything that you're afraid of. Actually, uh, having good leadership skills will help you in every area of your life, not only your professional life, but also in your personal life. And uh, again, that's why I say a really great uh, advantage and opportunity for you to have. And uh, what my book uh, covers is primarily 10 chapters. And I'll share it with you again. It's 10 chapters to the book. And... Uh, what it what it does is it provides people with understanding, better understanding the importance of being a leader. And then I have an approach in terms of how you can become a leader of influence, the, the ultimate goal in, in terms of building a, a strong uh, organization due to your uh, leadership skills and abilities. But that's what's coming down the pike, you know, in terms of um, another resource for people to look at. So I have a combination of going out and delivering speeches at conventions, at conferences, uh, breakout sessions, keynote addresses, and also uh, sharing it with people in the media. Of, of late, I was interviewed by seven different media outlets. And so I have an interview that's out there and I'm talking about the book, the speeches, the workshop development workshops, and, and uh, more and the courses. And uh, you know you can learn more about the speeches, just go to my website, which I have posted near my name here, which is uh, www.paullawrenceman.com and you'll be able to learn more about that. But again, going back to the book itself, uh, I've really been putting a lot of effort and a lot of energy because I know the importance of being a leader and being a leader of influence and I wish to see you uh, do the same, that no matter what level you're at, even if you're at the executive level, the president or CEO of a company, you can still learn more. Uh, I had the uh, honor of working in the Pentagon at the time that uh, General, um, when we, we had um, uh, one, of the, uh, the, one of the best generals there is and I, I able to uh, work under him and uh, it was a joy, and I learned a lot uh, from him, and that's General Colin Powell. And uh, I didn't work directly for him, but I worked under him as a part of the Department of Defense structure, and he headed up the Joint Chiefs of Staff at that time. And uh, so I learned quite a bit from him and so many others. And uh, I share just a little bit about that and some other leaders uh, that, that we, you may be aware of. But um, one of the things that uh, I truly uh, am passionate about is leadership. And uh, this is going to end this particular session. So my time is up and I thank you for yours. And I just wanted to give you just a synopsis of some of the things that I'm working on. And, and you can learn more about them. Again, you can go to www.paullawrencevan.com. And I will be glad to work with you uh, coming to your organization to deliver a, a leadership speech a uh, keynote address, uh, it, it can be in a convention, a conference, as a breakout session. 
or I could come to your company and provide some of my leadership development uh, uh, workshops as well. So have a great day and I'll see you on the uh, next episode of Leadership is Influence. I hope that you're getting something out of this and that it's going to make a difference in your day. Have a good day, everyone, and I'll see you on the next session. Have a great, great day.